Like I remember when I interviewed Jason Williams. Yeah. Right. Jay Will, whose uh, sister got brutally attacked by someone, and he had the chance to kill the man that basically was responsible for his, his sister's death. And he said, uh, there's a part in his book that we talked about where him and Jordan were talking. They were having a dinner somewhere or whatever. And he's telling Jordan this story about, yeah, you know, and, and, and my friends gave me, gave me a gun and told me to kill this guy. And I walked away. Jordan told him, man, if I had a chance to kill the guys that killed my father, I wouldn't walk away. I, I would kill those dudes. Mm -hmm. In your book, you said uh, that Jordan told you if I ever come face to face with the guys who killed my father, I don't know if I could have let them go. Um, that might have been a little. Uh, he just said he was very. He might have said he, but he was very upset. He was upset. You know, this book was twenty years ago. I wrote this book, gave the money to Michael J. Fox for Parkinson's disease. It's a book that, you know, uh, I was at a different level in life, but it it was something. Similar to he was very upset with them guys. Did you had to understand this had just happened to Michael Jordan? And I actually brought that up to Daniel Green during our interview. And he goes, "Well, I think if Jordan wanted me dead, I'd be dead by now." Years later, he was having dinner with Michael Jordan, and he was telling Michael the story. And Michael Jordan said, "You know, if I was in your position, and the murderers of my father were there, and I had a gun." I would have killed him. I wouldn't have let him walk away. Yeah, I, I don't, you, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I'm gonna tell you why I don't believe that. Because if Michael Jordan wanted me dead, if I would have been dead years ago, man. I, I would have been dead before they picked us up. I could have been dead uh, through the death penalty because I, I believe my trial was rigged to find me guilty. Um, you know what I'm saying? But you know, if he wanted me dead, I would have received the death penalty. Um, and with the money he has and the connections he has, if he wanted me dead, I would have been dead years ago. So I just so personally, I don't believe that, that story. And I, I doubt that he was, that this guy, that he would go publicly and say that, uh, that Michael Jordan told him that. I don't believe it. No, that was a good cop out. Michael just realized, but it, it's a difference. So my boy, uh, Lloyd got murdered. Uh, over uh, it was a mo night of Motown 25. Rob shoots him with a 22 in the heart. It takes it like two hours to die. They then put him in the dumpster and thought the dumpster's gonna get picked up in the morning. They don't ever look. They'll go somewhere else. They don't know what it is. Anyway, someone tells a story. They find him in the dumpster. I find out it's Rob. I have that done and I'm thinking, all right, my boy Sam was like, come on, let's roll. So I called Coach Crimmins and I tell Coach Crimmins I got to go to New York. Found a guy to kill my boy and Coach Crimmins said, you can't go. I go, I got to go. And he said, all right, give you a one-way ticket because if you go, you can't come back. <laughs> so I don't go. Yeah. Rob gets busted. He gets eight years in jail. That's it? Yeah. It's eight years. Manslaughter, I guess. You want to know something? Uh, Gotti killed a dude for the mob bosses. John Gotti? Yeah. Two years in jail. Hmm. I documented. He only got two years. Crazy. So all of a sudden, I get to the situation where I know I can get back and I know where Rob is going to be and I can now kill Rob. And I literally chose not to because I would have been continuing senseless murder. And it was better. Than, so Michael said if he wants him, then Michael. So if Michael said if he wants him dead. Michael sends the bird in, gets this guy murdered in jail. Now, Michael's on the hook. Oh, yeah. So I, I think trying to do a crime of that magnitude, being Michael Jordan, is damn near impossible. Yeah. It's damn near impossible because you can't do it yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to pay someone or, or convince someone else to go and do it. And if they get caught, you have to trust that they're not going to tell. Yeah. Or extort you for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah, look what happened to OJ. OJ told two guys to show up with him. He's going to go get his stuff. Next thing you know, OJ gets 13 years in jail. The guy who has the gun yeah. gets no time. Right. Everyone turns against the famous guy. Welcome to America. <laughs> well, the irony of this interview uh, that I did with Daniel Green, and we talked about this at the end, is that once the last dance started to air, they moved him to cell number 23. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that's not funny, Vlad, but it's funny as hell. Yeah, it's funny, not funny. 